Hi, my name is Pascal and welcome to the Aristides factory here in Harlem, the Netherlands. Today we are showing you guys our latest model, the Aristides HO headless guitar. In this video, we're going to walk you through the HO, uh, show you some of the different options, uh, talk about the designing process and demonstrate some of the different features that come with the HO, like the tremolo bridge and the different pickups we offer. The HO comes in six, seven and eight strings and they're all multi-scale designs. Um, we, with the designing process of the HO, um, it was our goal to make a, a very ergonomic, lightweight Aristides guitar. This HO6 has the same fan as the 060S and it's the same for the seven and the eight strings compared to their S model brothers. We really went all out with the development of the HO and worked together with uh, Hantuk to create custom hardware for the, for the HO. Uh, we are using our custom slanted pickups from BKP and Lundgren in the HO. And in the overall designing process, we took features from the S series, but also from our latest tele model, the TO. Uh, you can see that in various different uh, aspects of the design. If you look at the top of the body, you can see that it's very thin and has a bit of a belly cut on the bottom. The Aristides, kind of our signature indents are a little less sharp than they are on the, on the S series and the, and our regular 060 series, but they're more like the TO where they are a bit softer and just a bit more friendly looking, which we felt worked a lot better on the, on the smaller headless body. Um, the back of the guitar, you have the neck profile, which is the same as we have on our S series. So if you're used to playing an Aristides 060 or 060S, you're going to be right at home with this neck profile. Overall, this guitar is extremely ergonomic. It's extremely lightweight. Uh, for instance, a six string H06 weighs about 2,400 grams. Uh, if you go to seven or eight strings, you're going to go up a couple grams, but it's all going to be between 2400 and 2800 grams. Now let's dive into some of the different options we offer on the HO. Like every other Aristides guitar, um, the HO is made out of Arium, which is our own composite material. What we do, we build an exoskeleton out of carbon fiber and glass fiber, which we inject with our Arium material to create a guitar that's extremely resonant, uh, extremely durable, and has a ton of sustain. We offer the HO model in both uh, painted and in our raw finishes. Our raw guitars are not painted. What we do is that we color the outer coating in the mold, which we then sand and uh, coat with something called titanium oxide nano coating to protect the finish. This means that we can skip the paint process, which makes that we can build these a little bit faster uh, and the cost is a little bit less than with our custom painted models. Um, you can get the HO with both a light rich light fretboard and a black rich light fretboard. They sound exactly the same. They feel the same. It's just a matter of appearances. Let's take a look at the different pickup options for the HO. With the HO being a multi-scale design, um, there are some challenges when it comes to pickups. We decided that we wanted our passive pickups to be exactly in line with the fan of the guitar. This means that we have the pickup bobbins made here in Holland after which we ship them to BKP and Lundgren, where they make custom bass plates and wind the pickups. This makes that on the HO, uh, you have bobbins, pickups that are perfectly in line with the fan of the instrument, um, being an integrated part of the, the overall design. We can offer all BKP humbucker models and all Lundgren humbucker models on the passive version of the HO. The passive pickup bobbins come in two different finishes, matte black and see-through white, which we could also combine into a Zebra set. We also offer active pickups on the HO, and let me get a guitar to show you how that's done. For the active pickups in the HO model, we use slightly different routes. Um, we route these in a 14 degree slant to accommodate standard uh, Fishman and EMG pickups. We offer all Fishman blade models, like the Moderns, the KSEs, the Steph Carpenters, and the Tosin Abasi pickups. In the Fishman equipped HO guitars, we also offer the 
rechargeable battery pack that Fishman offers. We make a mod into the back plate, meaning that's always easy to charge your battery when needed. We can offer all pickup covers that Fishman and EMG offer. So whatever you want for your guitar, we can get on there. Next up, let's take a look at the hardware. The electronics are pretty much the same as what we offer on our other models. We use MEC for the jacks and the pots and we use Schaller for the switches. We teamed up with Hantuk from Turkey to create some custom hardware for the HO models. We use Hantuk's single saddle solution for our fixed bridges and we work together with them to create a custom headpiece on these guitars. It's slightly slanted, making that you can use the same screws all through the headpiece. Another thing we did on the HO is equip it with two different output jacks. Uh, this is just so you can play in different positions. Some people like to play in standard position, some people play in classical position. And we couldn't find a place for the output jack without compromising for one of the two positions. So we just went with two jacks so you can swap the output jack, um, put the jack in, in one of the other output jacks depending on the position you're playing in. We also worked together with them to create a custom multi-scale tremolo system for this guitar. We're going to dive into the specifics of the tremolo system a little bit later. For the hardware on the HO, we offer two different materials. The standard option is aluminum, which you can get in black, nickel and gold. But additionally, we also offer a titanium option, which you can get in raw titanium or in gold. Titanium is an extremely strong and durable material that offers a slightly different tone. Every HO model comes with Schaller strap locks equipped on both the guitar and the custom Aristides Mono Doolittle strap you get with your guitar. All HO models ship in this custom headless soft case produced by Quantum Industries. Now I'll get our master builder Ferdinand and Timo Somers here to talk and demonstrate the custom trem we created together with Hantu. Okay, so we're here with our master builder Ferdinand right now and he's gonna show us the multi-skill trem we custom developed for the HO with Hantuk. Ferdy, can you tell us a bit more about this trem and what makes it special? Yeah, I'll try to explain in short what we did with our trem. So the first of obvious thing you see is that uh, the studs uh, are off angle, they're not at a straight angle, um, which uh, makes room for our uh, custom bobbins uh, and pickup routes uh, that we want, but also what happens is that um, we get a certain distance of the saddle to the post on that side and a certain distance from the saddle to the post on that side. Uh, this side is pretty Floyd-like. It's right around 13 to 15 millimeters behind the post. Uh, that way, when you do a dive, um, the string comes up away from the fretboard and um, the other one stays stationary, pretty much. Um, what is also pretty unique about the trem is that the fulcrum sits quite a bit deeper on that side than it is on that side, meaning the distance from the fulcrum to that saddle is quite a bit larger, which uh, makes the response in the high E string greater than the response in the low E strings. Um, we tuned it and tweaked it until uh, we got a pretty even response out of all the strings. Now let's hand it over to Timo and see if we can get a bit of a demonstration of the tram.
If you have any more questions or want to get a quote for an HO build, you can shoot us an email or visit our website. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.